Hi, I'm Jenny Moncaster and I'm working with Pebio and Hobbycraft and I want to show you some really exciting effects with our mixed media paints. They're really, really easy to use. Anyone can do this and they're going to give you some amazing results just by dropping and brushing colour on colour. They are fantastic. So let me get started really quickly. I'm just going to show you how these paints take effect. And what we've got here, we've got some vitriol glass paint. I'm just going to show that to the camera there, get a close up of that. I've just got a couple of colours there. And our special effect paints, which come in moon and prism. Now, the moon's going to give you a hammered metal effect, and the prism's going to give us a sort of honeycomb effect, a bit like snake skin. And the paints just do their own thing. So you don't need to do all that work. It's a bit, bit of magic in a pot there. So first of all, I'm just going to give the glass paints a bit of a shake before I open them. And that one as well. Get the lids off. And with my other paints, what we need to do with the special effect paints, the fantasy paints, is just taking a lolly stick or a coffee stirrer and give them a really, really, really good mix because they tend to separate when you first get them out of the box. So that's really important. Give them a bit of a mix up like that. So that was my moon. And now onto the prism. Oh, I can feel it a little bit glunky at the bottom. In fact, we can see there. Can we show that actually? Because there's a big lump. And that's what we need to stir in. We need to combine the colour to uh, make these effects really work for us well. So that's all we need to do really, is just give them a good old stir. And my other colour, I love this blue. This is a prism one. So again, the honeycomb, just give that a little bit of a shot on the camera there so you can see. Beautiful colour. So these paints are all solvent based. So you just might want to work with the window open, that's all. Um, so I've got my, some odourless mineral spirit here. So it's a bit like a white spirit. I've just got some in a jam jar and that's to clean my brushes as I go. Just going to show you something really, really simple. And all I want to do is I'm going to take one of my glass paints. I'm going to start off with this and just show you how intense these colours are. So we ready for the pour. And let's give it a little brush out on this blank canvas. Beautiful. It's almost like, um, like honey. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I'll put a bit of green on there as well, seeing as I've got it. A little pour on there. And the way that I like to work with these paints is wet on wet. And I always sort of say the wetter the better. Because when you drop and drizzle your other colours on top, your special effect paints, you're going to get some really, really gorgeous things happening. So just give that a little bit of a whiz about. Okay, so this is just really simple to start off. That brush goes into my solvent cleaner there. Just give it a little whiz. And now for the magic, now for the fantasy paint. I'm just going to take some of my moon paint. And let's try it on this dark area here. And all I'm going to do with my lolly stick is just drizzle any old how. You know, I'm not sort of making a landscape or a picture of any sort. It's just abstract, just playing and I think that's what these paints are all about just having fun and playing with colour and seeing the effect work in front of our eyes and in fact I can see this effect working already and this is like um it's kind of like lacy effect it's um there's a lot of movement in there and we can encourage that a little bit more if I use one of my sticks let's just give it a little scrape about as well we can do all sorts of things with these paints and um, beautiful. Already we can see lots of movement, loads of things happening, and that will continue to develop and do its magic as I work into it. So let's take one of our prism colours, that blue. I love the blue. Let's get a little extra stir. And all I'm going to do again is just drop some colour onto my moon and my glass paint. Just, oh, I don't know. I haven't really got a plan. I'm just going to see what happens. Let's do a little drizzly circle effect there. Oh, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I quite like that bit. Let's go. Let's do a bit more there. 
And so the prism, as it starts to take effect and dry, will give it this lovely honeycomb effect. And I can see it already working, but it will develop over kind of four or five minutes. Okay, now for a bit of the white as well. And you can carry on drizzling and dripping and pouring and playing with these colours just so you, you know, build up a bit of confidence and just see what the paints do for you. But I promise you, you don't need a degree in fine art to be able to do this. It's just amazing. In fact, some of my beginner students on some of my workshops produce the most amazing work because there's a lot of freedom to this and it's every time you do it, it's gonna be different each time. Gorgeous, amazing effects. Now, one more thing I want to show you with my pipette. Just taking one of these, I'm gonna take some of, some of the green and just pull up a little bit of colour. I'm going to do a bit of a spatter effect now and we'll see what happens. Do you know what? I feel like I've created a work of art already and we've only got, we've only been here five minutes. Amazing. A little bit of colour in there, a little bit of colour in there, just playing with colour on colour. Just gorgeous. Amazing effect. So that's almost a little bit like this one here. This is dry. It takes overnight to dry. And, um, and what's fantastic about these colors is they stay lovely and shiny and glossy. So some people say to me, has it got varnish on it? Well, no, it hasn't. It is literally those paints as they dry will have that lovely gloss effect. Just so beautiful, so much fun and whoop, completely addictive. So there we are. There's one where I've just dripped and poured. I'm going to grab another canvas now. I'm going to do something a little bit more detailed to show you some more techniques. Okay, so I'm going to work on a little mixed media piece now. We're going to incorporate that collage and the sand texture gel and some glazing resin and one of my favourites, modelling paste. And we're going to put them in a mini piece of artwork. And we'll do it really quickly, but um, it'll give you an idea of how we use all of those products and mediums all in one piece of artwork. So I've got my piece of artwork dry here and I've got a really sweet little vintage um, photocopy of some seashells here, a bit of sand texture around the outside. My glazing resin's lovely and dry now, really smooth. It's almost glass-like. And my modeling paste, which I've pushed through a little mini stencil. So ready to start. So first of all, I'm gonna take one of my glass paints Again, let's give that brush a little wipe and just get some colour on, to be honest. Just get your colour over your canvas. I love to get rid of a blank canvas. And, you know, sometimes when you look at that um, blank canvas, it can be really quite scary. And the first marks you make, have I done it right? Is the drawing right? Is the colour right? Don't worry about it. Just get the colour on there. Don't worry about it at all. So there's the yellow on, it's only paint after all. Okay, so let's do the other side with that green. I told you this was gonna be a quick one. And I'm gonna paint right over the glass, the, the glazing resin there with the glass paint. And you know what, I love the bit when you use your brush and you just sweep through onto the other color and you get this lovely brush effect. I'm gonna paint round my image, slosh that paint on, over the sand texture gel, that's quite nice, that feels lovely. So you can really kind of, you know, put quite a bit of colour on your canvas. Don't, um, you know, don't skimp on your colour because again, we're working wet in wet. So again, that wetter the better. Okay, so I quite like that now. What about having a go with that pipette as well? So let's take my green and just do a little bit of spatter because I do like that spattery effect. And it's lovely the way the glass paint bleeds into each other. It's beautiful. In fact, you can mix all of these glass paints together to create your own colors, but we have such an amazing range. You probably don't need to or want to. So that's my colour on. Now I can start again with these lovely fantasy colours, the special effects that I'm going to get. And all I'm going to do is drizzle 
I'm going to drizzle my moon on, on that gap there. And we can start to incorporate our collage into our piece of artwork by dropping and drizzling and brushing the special effect paints on top. There's a little bit of that. Do you know what I'm going to try and do? I've got a bit of Joe cloth here and I'm going to try and wipe some of the colour off the glazing resin. Let's see if it works. I'll just give it a little bit of a rough up because it's quite stiff. Roll it up into a little bit of a pad. Let's have a go at just rubbing on top. Yes, that's rather nice. So just almost like polishing, it's coming off onto the rag and it's actually giving me quite a nice effect there. I might just rub a little bit more. So handy to have a bit of J cloth or a bit of kitchen roll just to give you some different effects. In fact, that colour is really rather lovely. Okay, what should we do now? Let's take our brush this time. I'm no, let's I'm gonna go in with my blue prism again. So again, this is that honeycomb effect, another effect that we can add. And I'm just gonna drizzle some areas, some sort of almost like little jewel-like areas, some special little um, circles and blobs. In fact, talking of circles, I quite fancy, I might even do a drizzle around that glazing resin circle. And we'll see what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna drip some of the other color inside. So let's see how many colors we can drip and drop inside. They're almost like these little gems we're creating here. Beautiful. Let's try a little drop of, oh, let's go for the yellow this time. Let's try a little bit of the uh, glass paint inside. So you can almost see what's happening and respond and just kind of go with it. Don't really have a plan, just go with it. Oh, really lovely, almost like little sweeties. Okay, I've got some more of that glazing resin there. And in fact, I drizzled these little drops off by mistake. But I think it's going to be quite a nice feature. Let's give those a little polish as well. Those little three, four little blobs. Make a little feature of those as well. I'm going to keep working this area here. This time, I'm going to put a little bit of the prism on top of the moon, drizzling. And I'm gonna try using my brush just to stipple the color together because there are so many ways that you can use these paints. Um, you're gonna find your own ways. You're just gonna invent your own ways and um, come up with lots of different effects. That are, oh look, that's lovely. So the colors are actually mixing together a little bit and creating this lovely sort of hammered metal, beautiful blues and greens and golds, gorgeous. So you can stipple with your brush, you can drop and you can spatter and you can drizzle. There are so many endless possibilities with this. And do you know what? I almost feel like I wanna have a cup of tea now because I wanna sit back and watch what these little areas, these jewel-like areas are gonna do because they're gonna change and they're gonna develop and they're gonna be these beautiful, almost, um, almost enamel-like little beautiful areas there. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry a little bit because I want, what I want to show you next is our mirror foil. And um, if you've never used this before, you are going to be addicted to this as well. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. We'll come back to that and we will finish off this little piece with some mirror foil. This is the thing where I can't stop because I know we're about to stop then. But do you know what I want to do? A little bit more spattering. I can't help myself. You can't turn the camera off yet because... I just want to do a little bit more of that yellow on top and we'll see what we get. Just leave me to my spattering. It is so addictive, you just want to keep playing. I just want to do that little area there. Gorgeous. There we are. Okay, we're gonna do some finishing touches to this piece of artwork now, and we all love a little bit of bling. 
One of my favorite products is mirror foil. Absolutely love this stuff, honestly. If you have a little go with this and you'll be mirror foiling everything in sight. Now how this works, we actually have a, um, a gilding glue called mixture and relief, a tacky glue. And we put that on our artwork, wait a couple of hours for the glue to dry. And what happens is it goes tacky and then that sticks our foil onto our artwork. Now I'll explain that in detail in one of our other little videos. So do check that one out. But for now, we haven't got two hours to wait for glue to dry because what I want to do is just embellish and uh, bling up this bit of uh, glazing resin down here. So here's my mirror foil. Get some out of the packet. We've got 12 sheets in there. Now this stuff's gorgeous. I'm going for gold. So we've got gold on one side and slightly dull on the other side. Now this is the weirdest thing about this stuff is that you actually put it face up. So with the gold facing you, you kind of automatically want to stick the gold on, but just stop there and it's facing up. So now what happens, because I've used glass paint on this section here and when glass paint dries, because it's solvent, it goes lovely and sticky and tacky like a boiled sweet that you've pawned in the bottom of your handbag. I've done that a few times. And I'm just gonna put my finger on there and you might, even be able to hear it, it's sticky, tacky, like a sweetie, perfect for sticking our foil on. Okay, so just lay it down on top where you want it to go on. Obviously gold up again. I keep saying that because sometimes I forget as well. And then just take a finger and just rub over the surface where your resin is. You can just feel it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, well, I think it's going to work. It's a bit like waxing your leg, so I hear. Pull it off like that and there we go. How beautiful is that? And we can keep going with that. I'm going to turn this around. Yeah, let's use all of the, the foil up. You can see where it's come away. Line that bit up there. So it's that tacky sticky that sticks the foil. And I just think... That is the most satisfying thing in the world to do. Honestly, mirror foil, you'll be mirror foiling everything. Can I just give that a little whoosh around and see if you can see the light coming off that because it's unlike any other sort of gold paint effect that you can get, it's just beautiful. There we go, what's not to like about mirror foil?